The 42nd edition of the Cape Town Cycle Tour took place on Sunday the 8th of March. 108 learners from the Nedbank Sports Trust Development Cycling Program competing in one of the greatest cycling events on the world cycling calendar. This program is co-funded by Nedbank and the Sports Trust and supports 12 disadvantaged schools and surrounding communities in the Western Cape by supplying bikes and providing training and participation opportunities for both male and female learners. I'm pretty excited because it's my first time and as a first time rider it's a privilege riding amongst all these cyclists and yes I've been training really hard and I'm super excited and I'm really hyped about this. It's going to be tough but at the end of the day it's your determination that counts and it's how you see it and at the end of the day you'll get there if you put your mind to it and you have the right mindset you'll get there. I've been training a lot and I'm excited to see my second cycle tour and I'm very excited. It's very important to me because I'm looking out for it for the cycle. Cape Town Cycle Tour means a lot because it's a very big event in Cape Town and I've experienced a lot because the 110 kilometers are very huge kilometers. To prepare for this year's event, the cyclists attended a training weekend hosted at the Sutbater Environmental Education Centre for an intense three-day preparation session which offered both technical and personal training skills. Three weeks ago we had a training camp at Sutbater where we went through skills, training programs, hill sprints, um, hill repeats, etc, etc. And so it covered all bases for the young learners for today. The Nedbank Sports Trust Development Cycling Program main batch starts at 8.55. That will see the young development cyclists start with the main Nedbank Peloton. This is exciting times for the young learners as they get to rub shoulders with the older, more mature, more experienced cyclists as well. A good experience for them and a perfect opportunity for the mentorship program to start taking place. And it's really just an honor and a privilege to be part of the cycle tour, the Cape Town cycle tour here today. I just want to say really well done to all the 110 cyclists that was part of the SA Sport Trust as well as Nedbank cycling teams. They've put a lot of yards in over the last 12 months through various works that Mike Tippett and the team has produced. Uh, the different uh, working programs, skills programs, as well as the day-to-day -day cycling uh, training sessions that was participated and really a lot of commitment, dedicated and focus went into all of that. So just really well done on achieving the magnificent result they did here today. Uh, it's just really awesome for us as Nedbank to be a part of this and we really embark on continuing with this journey with the SS Sports Trust. So just really well done to everybody. Yeah. The school program specifically focused on 13 to 19 year olds as the teenage years are generally a stressful time of life. These learners are vulnerable to being lured down destructive paths. This program is instrumental in changing their lives and promoting positive and healthy lifestyle choices. I'm from um, Scottsville, Scottsville High School and um, I've been participating in the Cape August tour for this is my seventh, my eighth tour and it was uh, the conditions of the day was very well. Yes, I lost all of my belongings. Um, I was I was sleeping while uh, the electricity was off, but I went to go and sleep. And the next thing, when I woke up, the oh, like the place that I was living in was all around with flames. And it has learned me a big lesson because not everybody has the, the chance to to uh, or to get a second chance to put it like that. And I'm trying to make the best opportunity that I'm getting, every opportunity grabbing it with, with my hands and feet. Uh, so it is, it is really it's an eye opener for me for the things that I've lost, but cycling has uh, brought me closer to, to everybody else. The program has helped me by taking me away from gangsterism, stuff like that, because in the community there's a lot of gangsters and stuff. So it actually took me away from, from that and it put me in a better place to explore more and to see more places. Our challenge is in Kaelicha, it's a lack of training because of things that is in, we can't pass through them. And another thing is uh, easy roads and some stuff that are uncontrollable like accidents and people driving cars in trunk. Well, Ocean View has a lot going on, like crime and a lot of negativity. So this is actually something positive 
and doing this is actually a privilege because I'm getting away from all the negativity, cyclist like distraction, and actually it's, it's something positive being a cyclist from actually, yeah. In salt water, the skills that I've gained there, how to sprint on a climb and how to sprint on a flat road, that will help me to chase the attacks and chase my time for the Cape Town Cycle Tour to improve for the next year. After the Cape Town Cycle Tour, I'm looking forward about doing a very rest time, about two and a half hour. That is my target time for this race. At the finishing line, the results spoke for themselves. Several under-18 boys and under-17 girls showing great potential as their training and dedication paid off, with achieving better overall results. The experience that I have gained, it, it, learned, it has learned me uh, very much because um, working in the team is, is one of the most key points and helping your fellow mates uh, exceed and grow is one of the, 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 the main points for me as a person and to, to always just, not just to, 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 to think of your own but you have to think of the others around you that is growing with you as well at the end of the day. The most difficult part was for me, uh, Sekabosi was very, very difficult for me, but um, I did well. My difficult things that I faced today was um, Chapman's peak at the end and I was coming down. Yeah, that was probably the only thing, the only challenge for me. Uh, I will encourage others to take participate in cycling because it's a fun sport and you learn to, to mix with other people and learn their cultures as well. We thank our trustee Nedbank for their continued support of the cycling project through the Nedbank Sports Affinity Program and our other sponsors Spur who provide the delicious burgers and My O2 Recovery Gel for helping them beat their pain and up their game. And Avis who are the official car hire sponsor. We are very proud of the work that the Sports Trans ha uh, has been doing. The development cy uh, cycling is very, very cri like critical in the country. We need to have more you know, boys and girls from the previously disadvantaged areas in, in, cy in cycling, um, and they need a lot more work and a lot more help um, from you know, companies and organizations um, so, um, such as the Sports Trust. Um, and that's why we always out there to like you know, help out where we um, visit them. Every single year we help out with meals um, for the sports trust teams um, that you know do to take part in the in the cycle tour because we believe in the work in the work that the. Um, that the Sports Trust um, has been doing. Seven and a half hours later, the cyclists are still streaming in from the Cape Town Cycle Tour 2020. It's been an awesome day. The conditions have been perfect. The wind has picked up a little bit over the last hour or so, but it's not deterred the thousands of cyclists that came out to ride today. The Nedbank Sports Trust Development Cycling Program has had its success today again. Not all the cyclists are in yet, but the majority of them are. The months of hard work, the months of training, the months of motivation are finally paying off and the success is today when they walk away with a medal around their neck. We'd like to thank Nedbank, the Sports Trust for their involvement and long-term participation in the development cycling program here in the Western Cape. It has also made a meaningful change in so many of their young lives. It's taught them respect, it's taught them confidence, and it's taught them loyalty and team support. And that is all through cycling. The Sports Trust is proud to have been part of this remarkable event, which is changing the lives of the youth one cycling race at a time. We'd like to thank our donors for their continued support, which helps us to provide access and opportunities for the communities to participate in sport, helping tomorrow's heroes today.